I think going back to Ireland this time was quite important to me because I am kind of considering it. Like in a couple of years, maybe we can move back there and settle down. And right, what, I wouldn't what, mind what, what, looking. In a couple of years. I wouldn't mind looking at a few houses and seeing what nurseries are like because I think Ireland's just an amazing place to live and a really nice place for a child to grow up. I want the home that we're going to be in for the rest of our lives in Dublin. Okay, a little dining room. So this is room. the dining room. Golf trophy at the door. Yeah, which is important. Obviously, the owners uh, are people of taste. I just like that it's not overlooked. You know, living in London, you're just so overlooked. And isn't it so nice here in the summer as well? It's amazing. It's gorgeous. Like, we're sort of looking for a forever home. You're going to come here forever? That's great. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Sorry, I, I didn't realise that's what we're looking for, but OK. <laughs> the first house, uh, it was beautiful, it was big. It needed a lot of work done to it to make it our own. But it, it had no sea view, so that's kind of... That defeats the purpose of, of me moving back to Hoth. I need the sea view. Us moving. So the next place we're going to, I'm really excited about because it's actually the road I grew up on. So I lived there till I was 17. And I've always wanted to live on that road. It's like my dream road, and I think it's exactly what Spencer's going to want. I want a house that, like, people will be jealous of. Babe, I'm about to give that to you. Like, I mean, you could put a helipad there if you wanted to. Now you're talking my language. No, come on in. And we have our view. Ah, yeah, totally different deal. Yeah. What do you think, Piggly? I think I love the view. And you say this comes with about four acres? That's for horses, cos that used to horses. be... Horses. So that is available. If you want it, you can buy that as well. Who said anything about horses? You don't even ride. I like horses. Yes, I do horses. I don't. Nice County London. Yeah. <laughs> Learning all sorts today. Ooh, an aga. Oh. It's great aga. Oh, it's not on. Are they away? No, they're away. Good. But it's um, great kitchen for cooking. Oh, there you go. It's not on. Yeah, right. Ooh, look at my wardrobe. Look at that retro ski suit. No. Whoever lived here is officially a gangster. Buddy, what's this on at? Four and a half. We'll give you 1.75 for it. I'll, I'll give him a call. I'll ring you tomorrow. That's our final offer. We'll See you later. yeah. Yeah. This could be Winston's room. OK, yeah. like, honestly, stop being ridiculous. Go ahead, Spencer. So, look, Vogue wants to buy a house right now right. in Hoth. What's the story with you? Do you want well, to move over here like that? I woke up this morning thinking I was going for lunch. <laughs> uh, so this is, this is all kind of news to me. Everything is in place. The wheels are in motion. Spencer just needs to get on with the idea that we're going to live in Ireland now. I think if we're putting them down for skills in London, why would we not? Put Have you actually skills? put them down for skills here? <laughs> You're an animal. <laughs> I've learnt three things on this trip. I've learnt that you're into horse riding, which I had no idea. I've learnt that you're forever home. You want it to be in Hoth, which is beyond alarming. And I've also learnt that you've signed Theodore up to an Irish school. Is there anything else that you'd like to confess? I signed him up for, like, a few nurseries. There's lots of brilliant boys' schools. Yeah. Like your fancy boarding schools over in there. Where is it? Eton, is it? I went to Eton, yeah. Yes, there's a lot of schools that I've... You know, I, th I think a childhood here for kids is fantastic. Age 13, yeah. I'd like him to be in a British boarding school. Yeah. Worst comes to worst, he can go to Harrow.